Shelby, obviously uh, the big news this morning, the Broncos parting ways with Vic Fangio. I uh, never want to see somebody lose their job, but uh, what was your reaction when you found out? Man, you know, when someone loses their job, it's, it's kind of like you didn't do your job well enough. And, you know, I just, the sadness, you know, I just feel, I feel for the man. The man, you know, he, he looked out for me. You know, I, I signed here at an extension, and he's only done great things for me. So, you know, I hate to see him go like this. It's, it's not necessarily what he deserves, but, you know, I understand it's a business. You guys obviously played very hard uh, yesterday uh, facing the Chiefs, but uh, ultimately uh, losing four games to close out the season. Uh, uh, where do you feel like this team is right now, and what, what's the foundation for the future here? Uh, you know, I feel like we got to find our identity. Uh, what what do we do well? Like, what who are we? Are we a running team? Are we a throwing team? You know, what kind of defense are we playing? Are we zone? Are we man? You know, it's, it's, we got to really find our identity. With also the foundation, you know, it's it's obvious, you know, this is probably one of the most attractive coaching you know, destination in the league. You know, you have such a great young core. You have literally pieces throughout the whole offense and defense. You have, you know, young stars out there. It's, it's, it's probably, you know, like I said, one of the more enticing places to go, you know, coach. What would you ideally want in a new head coach? Uh, you know, just, uh, you know, this is always Vance's term. I always say, I always say it, just a leader of men. You know, someone that just leads us and, and you know, you have, to, you have your offensive defense coordinator, you know, to, to do X's and O's and stuff. But, you know, your head coach is supposed to be the leader of men. There's someone that, that leads you guys and, and, and just that, that calming kind of voice over everybody like it's going to be all right, we got you. This is a, a, the sixth season in a row the Broncos have missed the playoffs, fifth consecutive year with a losing record. Where does the team need to go to, to take that next step? Because it does seem like there was a lot of good this year, but maybe just a few things here or there. Uh, I think on, you know, on both sides of the ball, you got to get turnovers and you have to stop turning the ball over. And, and that's winning football right there. You know, Defense-wise, yeah, we're a top three defense, but – we are in the bottom half when it comes to turnovers. And and that's the thing. It's like the, the great defense, you know, they do the bend, don't break thing, but they end up getting a turnover. We got to get more turnovers. And then on offense, we got to protect the ball. You know, we've, we've seen it in a couple games this year where a turnover changes the whole game. So we got to we gotta really, you know, lock in and, and on both sides of the ball. Is that tough as a defense, a top three defense, and then now come the end of the season, you're going to be watching the playoffs? Yeah, you're going to be watching the playoffs, and it sucks because, you know, on defense we felt like, you know, we went out there and we were enforcing our will on people. But, you know, that's just how the game goes sometimes. Uh, for you, last offseason was huge. You had the uh, contract here. Uh, what are you going to do this offseason? What are you going to be up to? I uh, mean, it's family time, honestly. It's just uh, take these first first month or whatever and just, like, relax with the fam, you know, just give them the time they deserve. They sacrifice so much during the season. Uh, with me not being around, my wife does so much when I'm not there. So, you know, doing anything I can to take a little burden off her, you know, her back and, and, and just being dad. All right, Shelby, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.